what's going on guys welcome back to another episode to another episode of the walking dead season 10 we're gonna be doing the final three episodes of season 10 today 13 14 15 so until that episode 16 drop we'll have three episodes today because i don't want to leave 15 hanging for put to put up as a single video i don't even know maybe if it's a one hour video no i've already decided to do all three regardless of what happens so i appreciate y'all we're just going to jump in because we know i'm curious i'm ready to find out what the hell happened in the last episode as in what was the plan between negan and my boo my boo carol you know what i'm saying why did carol let negan out obviously to go infiltrate the whisperers and learn their ways and to kill big mama <laughs> right alpha as she calls herself so i'm curious to know so i'm not gonna waste any more time let's just jump in and i will have my review for the season so far because the season is not complete but i'll give an overview of what i think might happen in the final episode final episode as i told you guys in the last re in the last reaction i'm still holding out for that one last episode for them to bring rick back i'm still i know he hasn't shown up for the rest of these episodes so i'm going to stop talking about how much they're not updating us but i still think in that episode 16 that they're holding back rick is going to show up whether we're going to see him laying down on the bed or whatever i just have a feeling that he might show up in at the end of season 10 in that ep that elusive episode 16 that hasn't dropped yet because of covid anyways appreciate you guys i'll see you guys later for the review all right so that was season 10 episode 13 14 15 wow wow and wow three great episodes in my opinion three good episodes three great episodes um i wonder what the final episode is going to be of course it's going to be um seems like it's going to be them against the horde again seems like beta has lost it um just to hit on a few pointers before i start talking about the season in general seems like everything is coming together i'm i'm liking the 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 mentorship between judith and daryl of course that seems like a relationship that's going to develop for the future now that michonne is out looking for rick and we also need to get some more information on that group she met up with um and somebody want to tell <laughs> somebody want to tell me <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about the season. Season 10 of The Walking Dead. I have to say, it is not as good as season 9 um, due to the slower pace of the beginning. Second half picked up a lot, you know, leading in. I was very surprised by the death of Alpha. That really surprised me. I didn't think they were going to kill her to lead into what happens with beta so um so that was very that was very surprising i never lost hope in negan and i'm glad i didn't um because as i said narrative wise narrative wise it just don't make sense i've never ever seen that in a movie a tv show i've never seen that in a tv show where a car character does bad things and then they have a redemption arc for the character coming over to the good side, maybe even becoming a favorite character in the series. And then they throw them throw them over to the bad side again. I've never seen that. You get what I'm trying to say? You know, if somebody is planted as a double agent and they have to do bad things, knowing us, the audience, know that they're undercover, that's a whole different story. You get what I'm saying? So, in the end, 
if the badness takes over the person and then somebody comes and reminds them, hey, you used to be a good guy, what happened? And then they decide to actually do their job. That's a whole different story. I've seen movies that are like that. You get what I'm saying? But that's a whole different kind of narrative speaking. Over the course of a TV show, you get what I'm saying? Over the course of a TV show, I feel like in an episodic journey, in an episodic journey, you have to stick to your bad guy, redeem, that's it, in my opinion, if you make that person go bad again, I lose interest, you get what I'm saying, I don't think any writer, I think every writer would understand that, that your audience is going to lose interest because it's the same old, same old, you get what I'm saying, it's not, it's not new, this is a person going back to being bad. And that's why I kept that hope because I was like, if they continued with Negan down this line and if he does some bad things and this is not for a purpose, this season would have lost a lot of points for me. It just would. That's all I'm trying to say. So when it comes on to Negan's character and what they did, I'm loving what they did with his character um, for this season, the redemption arc, the Carol letting him out to go infiltrate and kill Alpha because she couldn't get close to her and he has a better story to tell. You get what I'm saying? He has a convincing story to tell because he's been locked up for seven years. You know what I mean? And he could easily, you know what I mean? And my thing is, why didn't Alpha ask? Why didn't Alpha ask him, "How did you escape?" I guess you can call that like a plot hole, but in but in certain way, I mean, Negan is a great liar. You know what I'm saying? He has a certain charm to him that would be believable to most people. You <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So he's a very insufferable guy you know what i mean sometimes you just wish man can you just shut the hell up for two seconds but that's just his character you can't go against that but in any case man i don't have a long I'm not gonna be a long review i'm just talking about the stuff that i like about the season and what they're doing with these characters still no update on maggie we just hear that she's leaving letters or they're sending her letters whatever um, what happened with Michonne on the island, um, her finding out that Rick was there at some point, which we as the audience know Rick is alive, and that's why I still think, I believe that they're going to try to get Rick back for episode 16. If not, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Um, I was really still holding out hope for him to show up before the final episode that we know of, which is episode 15, I was really open. I'm going to be honest. I was really open for him to show up. Yeah, I'm saying you saw my reaction when he came on screen for just a little bit. I was like, oh, shit, is he here? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's my dude, man. That's my guy. You know what I mean? That's my guy right there. That's my guy. You know what I mean? So, when it comes on to the characters throughout the season, I've talked enough about the new group. Um, as I said, give credit where credit is due. They improved their acting and how they delivered in certain scenes. Um, for those, I think, episode, I would say episode 14, these three episodes that I did here, they really improved doing those three episodes. Any scenes that they were in, they delivered their lines convincingly like it didn't come off as cheesy the acting was perfect you can see the improvement you get what i'm saying i don't know if it's somebody on set you know talk to them and be like yo y'all are cheesy man you know what i'm saying deliver the scene with a more sincerity and don't you know what i'm saying you don't have to cry and, you know uh, uh, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to do all that <laughs> to to make people feel a certain way and deliver your lines in a believable way. You don't have to do all that with your face and always crying and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, come on, man. <laughs> come on, bro. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. But anyways, um, guys, as I said before, I enjoyed the season. Can't wait for the final episode. I am glad. I have to say this, too, before before I sign off here. Um, I don't want to give the season a rating yet until I see the final episode. So we're going to leave that for that. But I have to say this before I leave. Thank you to everybody that supported the Walking Dead videos on the channel until I was caught up all of you guys for all 150 of y'all that loyally come back every time to watch these videos these reactions I sincerely sincerely sending out my thank you to you guys for doing that for coming back and it's not a lot of people that watch my walking dead reactions um so trust me when I say I am extremely appreciative for, you know, all 150, sometimes, you know, for certain, you know, big moments and stuff like that. I'll, you know, I'll get more views on the videos and stuff like that. But I'm not talking about those because those are for people who come in looking for, to see who, how, you know, how you react to certain things like, you know how season six ended and how season seven began i did that in all one video um all one reaction session you know and you know people that come for that stuff is just people that's looking to see how did this person react to it or how did that person react to it do you get what i'm saying so those videos of course they're gonna get a boost you know in views but i'm talking to the people who stick throughout and watched every single episode with me you know what i mean um you know those are you know about 150 to um you know views and stuff like that because we could we could we could you know for a minute here you know so for um let me put myself back on Right. So, for the most part, man, I have to say thank you to you guys. I really do appreciate all you guys that have supported the videos, you know, that loyally watch every video. You know what I'm saying? And I really do appreciate y'all. Um, I'm all caught up with The Walking Dead now, so feel free to let loose in the comment section. I don't know what show I'm going to be replacing the walking dead with yet but i will definitely let you guys know what that is going to be i usually um choose my tv shows not usually i don't usually poll the tv shows but i don't think i'm going to be polling this time around um sometimes i do sometimes i don't so um for the most part what i want to do really is um, I want to do, there's two shows that I want to do right now. Two TV shows. Rich Barn is only like, I'm caught up with The Last Kingdom. I'm caught up with The Walking Dead. So, I'm going to be starting doing, I'm trying to get a couple of seasons of Sons of Anarchy done before, you get what I'm saying, before I start to do anything else. So I'm going to be binge binging the Sons of Anarchy and recording. I'm trying to get through. I'm going to try to get through two seasons of Sons of Anarchy. Um, but I'm going to be doing another show. So if you're watching this, I'm probably maybe even through that show too by the time you're seeing this. But it is going to be dark. It's a Netflix series that was recommended. And the... Um, the seasons are not long so that's why i decided to do it because i can get through it pretty quick your one hour episodes of course is a netflix show um and i heard it's a pretty interesting pretty interesting show so 
I'm gonna be doing that but I have not I don't know what I'm going that what's replaced the last kingdom so I don't know what's going to be replacing the walking dead on the channel as you're hearing some background noise right now my mic is picking up should be going away very soon um, but yeah it's pretty much all I have to say I know I'm talking a bit slow because I'm thinking um, out loud right now but yeah man I, I, I'm sending out gratitude you know what I'm saying I really do appreciate y'all for sticking with me through the journey I know eventually you know these videos are gonna have thousands upon thousands of views as the channel grows people are gonna come in and was like oh you re you did that because you know there's a lot of people that come to the channel and they're recommending stuff that I've already reacted to on the channel and I wish people would come to the channel and check my playlist because everything on my channel is in playlists. Everything that I've reacted to is in a playlist. All of them. I wish people would go to the playlist and check out to see what I've reacted to on the channel. But people, when they come on YouTube, they don't really do that. You get what I'm saying? So I have to direct them to this or I'll tell them, hey, I've already watched it and just send them the link to the playlist. You know, so I appreciate y'all. I really do can't say it any better no nah, I'm better <laughs> right um, yeah man thank you guys so much I'm looking forward to seeing that final episode of season 10 and on to season 11 you know hopefully COVID is over by the end of this year <laughs> man this is crazy anyways thank you guys so much I appreciate y'all don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and I will catch you guys later man peace